Okay then, welcome back to the next video. This time, it's the Phantom Spirit 120 SE versus the Frost Spirit 140 version 3 in white with RGB. Right then, so for the Phantom Spirit testing, I did test it for 195 watts on my 5900X, so here are the results. Now in terms of thermals and in terms of my benchmarking, I did use 3D, 3D Mark CPU test, Blender BMW, Blender Classroom and Cinebench R23. So for Cinebench R23 with the Phantom Spirit, the idles are 37, the max was an 80. 85 celsius blender classroom the idles were 37 celsius and the max was an 80 celsius the blender bmw idles were 38 celsius and the max was an 81 celsius 3d mark cpu test the idles were 38 and the max was a 73 celsius so for the frost spirit cinebench r23 the idles were 36 the max was an 84 Blender Classroom, the idles were 37, the max was an 82. Blender BMW, the idles were 37, and the max was an 80. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 37, and the max was an 80 Celsius. In terms of thermals and benchmarking, that is it. So let's continue to the rest of the video. Okay then, so, who won? Well, of, look, when it comes to overall size, it it does go down to the frost spirit but what i will say the phantom spirit does have a lot more heat pipes as you can see by here i will actually show you and you probably saw it in the actual beginning of the video now the frost spirit has got big thick heat pipes but it's only got four or you know yeah four heat pipes which are there and as you can see they're very thick Whereas the Phantom Spirit has got seven heat pipes, but as you can see, they're a lot smaller, but of course they are a lot closer together. So that is where the overall performance comes. Now, in terms of the better value, it all really just does depend on when you buy it, because I've seen the Phantom Spirit on sale. I've seen the Frost Spirit on sale. You can get the Frost Spirit, the non-RGB version, for £33, which honestly is an absolute bargain. Both CPU coolers are fantastic for what you need. Honestly, Th Thermalrite are coming back to the market to be as the budget king CPU cooler brand. And I'm sorry, but they are going to beat Noctua. They're going to beat all the other brands when it comes to price, as well as quality and performance. But which one is the best? Now, of course, the Frost Spirit is overly, overly larger. But as you saw with the 3D Mark CPU test, the Phantom Spirit actually beat it by quite a lot. That was 73 Celsius. This was 80. Now, what I will say, 3D Mark CPU test does utilize 
more of a single core performance. So when it comes to that kind of heat load, perhaps where I saw the test in, the Phantom Spirit did handle it a lot better. That could be down to the fact that it's got seven heat pipes instead of four. Now, when it comes to the Cinebench, there was only a one degree difference, but of course that could be a margin of area. It all depends on your case and your airflow. Now, the other benchmarks, there was, of course, there was a difference between one to two degrees. And of course, that does mean the Frost Spirit wins. But if you both, if you can find both under £35, you can get either one. Now, this is just my video showing you them head to head. Now, of course, there isn't many people that do head to head videos on YouTube when it comes to CPU coolers. And I'd like to think that I'm one of them that continues to do it because I keep asking my community what they want to see next. Now, what I will say, I have requested more from Thermorite, which I'm still waiting on. I've got stuff coming from uh, Glenfield Solutions or G Field Solutions. I've also been in touch with ID Coolin. I've been in touch with uh, Vetro. They are willing to send me coolers. And of course, I've got more coolers come from Be Quiet. And of course, I've been in touch with other brands, of course, as well. So I've got things coming. Now, you guys will have to wait, of course, because I've got other projects to do as well. But for now, both are fantastic options. But if you can get the Frost Spirit under £35 compared to the Phantom Spirit, honestly now, the Frost Spirit is definitely the better value. So, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please, because it does help me out. And, of course, don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video because I do appreciate it from everyone that does it. And, of course, this is Richard from Welshie Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Goodbye.